Hello, Tex Andrews with the Light Zone Project. And in this last video of our series on the Zone Mapper tool, I want to revisit something we mentioned in earlier videos about the use of the luminosity mode versus the RGB mode in the Zone Mapper tool. I have a Zone Mapper tool here ready. I've selected an image not very interesting image, but one that will be perfect for this demonstration. Default is luminosity, and there we have that selected. You'll note that here's the RGB button right next to it. I have clicked on the sampler tab up in here in the preview pane. I don't really need to see the zones in this. What I'm looking for here are my saturation levels, and that's over here on this side, intensity, hue, and saturation, and then here are your RGB levels here. And please note, as I scroll over this image, all over this image, all through these reds, everywhere I go, saturation is 100%. Even on the greens, it's 100%. This suggests that this image will require special handling when using the very powerful Zone Mapper tool. Let's switch over to the histogram. And here we see our blue channel, our green channel, and there's our red channel. And you'll see that it tails off into our topmost zone. So we're probably very close to clipping right here as we stand. But if we want to change the contrast in this, if we want to lighten this image up, because there are a lot of very deep darks down here in these shadows, and maybe they need to pull up, you know that there are different ways to do this. We can lock zones up here and protect them. We can select certain colors with the color selection tab, etc. But I just want to give this demonstration of also how you can control things by just switching from the luminosity tab button to the RGB button. I've selected a particular zone here. It's six down from the top. And I'm only going to make a half stop, just over a half a stop change in this. And look what's happened to the image. Look how steep this has become. And absolutely, just looking at this, I can, I can tell you right now, we've got clipping going on all over the place. I can even ratchet that down a little bit, but I still have this precipitous end to the red channel. If I just go over here and switch, oh, and I should say, I've only moved this up one half a stop. I've only moved it one half a stop up with this zone lock. So I really haven't made a huge change in luminosity. If I click the RGB button, look at the difference. This is much more gentle now. We may still have adjustments to do, but I'll click between the luminosity and RGB buttons. Here's RGB. Watch that histogram. There's luminosity. Look at the difference in the slope of that red channel. And look at the difference in the image. Luminosity. I think you can see there's clipping going on. RGB. That's much better. That's not to say further adjustments don't have to be made and more sophisticated processing has to be done, but just as a demonstration of the difference between luminosity and RGB, I think you see it. So thank you for watching these videos on the Zone Mapper tool. It is the granddaddy of all the tools in the Light Zone arsenal, the one that made and still makes Light Zone unique among all other photo editors.